Motherhood plays an important role in the Bible. It binds the beginning and the end. These stories offer us a glimpse into the heart of God. From the garden to the cross, there have always been mothers. These women paved the way for all women, representing the full spectrum of the ways one could be called mom. Whether a mother in faith, mentorship, adoption, or by birth, you play an important role in the stories of generations to come. And now on this special Mother's Day Online Prayer Summit, please join Lady Apostle Diana Adu as she unveils to us biblical portraits of three godly mothers, Zipporah, Lois, and Eunice, in a sermon titled, A Mother's Heritage. Zipporah is called a Kushite woman, and we're talking about a mother's heritage. So let me tell you something about Zipporah. In Numbers 12.1, the Bible attests that Miriam and Aaron, I've told you already, spoke against Zipporah because she was a Cushite. Now, if we interpret this with a Western lens, as a black woman living in the West, it looks as if they disagreed with Moses for marrying a black woman because blacks are inferior, that blacks are ignorant, blacks are, uh, are how savages, and whatever slavery and colonialism tagged black people with. Blacks are easy priests, blacks are uh, prostitutes, blacks are witches, black women especially. Our mummies, Jezebels, sassy and whatever. No, this must not be interpreted from a western lens. I want, <coughs> we want to interpret how the Jews See, saw this, saw this text. Aaron and <coughs> Miriam spoke against Moses because he had married a black woman. The rabbis resolved this by saying, some say that it means Moses married too. She married, he married Zipporah and then married this Kushai, that is Ethiopian or black woman. But the rabbis say this is not the case. For Moses would have never done an abominable thing by taking a second wife whilst he sent Zipporah to stay with the father and mother. Some suggest Zipporah died and Moses married another. There is no text that supports this. He married a woman who was called a Cushite, a black woman. By, and this is what the rabbis say. They say that... They say that... Um, the Kushite woman was a kind of positive assessment for Zipporah. The Israelites too were called Kushim in Amos 9:7. God calls the God says to me, Oh Israelites, you are just like the Ethiopians, the Kushims. So to be called a Kushite is an attribute of beauty. It means Yafet Mare, Kushite woman. Just as everyone speaks of blackness of the Kushites, so do all proclaim the beauty of Zipporah. In the West, we have been told that to be black is disdainful. To be black, and some women are even using creams to be white. That was not the case before God. And that was not the case among the Israelites, the Hebrews. It says that blackness, black skin, was regarded as beautiful so if you are listening to me and someone told you that your black skin this is my heritage to you a mother's heritage as we would see from the book of timothy is to teach the children the word of the lord and the word of the lord says you are beautiful of course that is why many of the patriarchs kept on marrying black women we've got solomon who goes crazy for a black woman the shulamite the rabbis also find an allusion to her name, Zipporah. It means a bird. Zipporah, in contrast, he says that many women at old age have a wrinkled skin, not with black women. Whether in poverty or in royalty, their skin always makes them beautiful. Zipporah, sorry, was a Kushite, and this means that her qualities was enviable to the extent that 
the sister of Moses said because she's married a Kushite woman. Zipporah was unique and her uniqueness is subject to another tradition. It says some women are fit to be comely while others are fit not to be comely. But Zipporah was both beautiful and fit in all things. She could do all things. She didn't have just breast and bum. She didn't have just a beautiful face. She didn't have just a beautiful body. As some women, as, as the, the society wants us to think, that beautiful women are empty-headed. Zipporah was all that. She was beautiful in the body, beautiful in the soul, beautiful in the mind, beautiful. She was an Eshet Kayil, a Proverbs 31 woman. Zipporah was lovely in the eyes of her husband. So, this is what the Midrash and the Mishnah says about Zipporah, the black woman that Moses married. Ooh.